Old Rail Tavern, Barrington, New Jersey. Special guest eaters, Amigo Dan and his Newcastle cronies. It's a long video, so I'll be brief here. We got a cheesesteak and the Philly Special. The Philly Special was the star. And you'll see in the video, my half of the cheesesteak was pretty good. But as you hear Dan describing his while you're looking at mine, it's the tale of two cheesesteaks. Day of cheesesteaks. Amigo Dan. Amigo Dan and his cronies. Oh, not my cronies. They're your cronies. I'll this tell you what, your, that's... This is your adventure. A, a, a less nimble man would have fallen down that curb. Sure, go with that. Go with that, Bambi. First official, first official stop, second stop, all real tavern. The reels are over there. What's your expert analysis, Jim? You're gonna hear it. Cheesy. All real tavern. Got Amigo Dan. Hey! Wingman. Barney. Uh-huh. Chris. We got, uh, got Amigo me. Dan and, uh, the Newcastle cronies. What are you, what are you calling your little? Uh, what are you calling your little minions here? I, I don't. Do you have a name for your minions? I I don't know them. Don't uh, include me in that group. <laughs> <laughs> a real tavern. Got the regular cheesesteak, fried onions, mushroom. <clears throat> we got the Philly special. I think we had a couple. No, you had. I didn't try it. I did. It was good. That was good. A little different, but good. It was good. Very different. All right, we got our traditionals over here. Okay. Me go Dan. All right. You know, took a couple bites, got into it. Uh, the, the meat's good taste, although the cheese isn't totally throughout, so it gets a little dry without that cheese. But um, needs a little bit more onion. Um, but the mushrooms spent some time on the grill, all melted together. Overall, you know what? It's not that bad a cheesesteak. No comment. Chef. No, no comment. comment. <laughs> Chef Chris, over here. <laughs> yeah. Hey, that's what they make ketchup for. I tell you what. <laughs> yeah, I don't hate this cheesesteak. It's a lot better than I thought it would be. Uh huh. Big bready roll, but the bread collapses with the steam. My piece was cheesy. My bite was. That's not bad. That's not, not bad at all. Onions are big. Get any onion, I mean mu mushrooms. Get um, any mushroom in your bites? I got some mushrooms in mine. Not enough. It definitely needs more onion. And you know me, I like bigger pieces of onion in mine. Yeah. From the doghouse, you're used to that. Grew up around the doghouse. Well, they, they had the big well, onion. They sliced the onion instead of chopped it. That's why. It's like a stringier onion. Yeah. Right? They put it on the slicer. Dog Nobody on puts onion on the slicer. Big, chunk, big chunks of onion. Nobody puts that onion is, in the corner. Have more flavor. Add mm -hmm. a couple good things from the back. You know, all yeah. Right. Yeah. Right. Right. Overall, right. Right. you know what? Not bad. Here's good. Lot going on with it. All right, now we got the Philly special, and it's it's busy. There's a lot going on with it, but it's very flavorful. If you like pork roll. If you like pork roll and tomato. Yeah, to tell you the truth, uh, I like pork roll and tomato. And it goes well together. It does. And, they, and they build it nice too. There's pork roll on top and bottom. Uh, I, I looked at the meat and I was like, I don't know if I'm going to like it. But actually, it, it all works. And even the sauce. Uh, and the onions are not overpowering. Actually, it's pretty good. It is pretty good. <laughs> I like it. It's very good. It's very good. Very different. But if you flavor. didn't like pork roll and tomato, you're in trouble. A lot of flavor. Great flavors going. But a lot of flavor. Should all should almost be the Jersey special tomato and pork roll, right? Well, pork roll is. Pork roll is a, lo is a more local thing over here. Yeah. Shit, even the Wawa's have the pork roll sandwiches in the morning. <laughs> oh, nice. Yeah. yeah. Good sandwich. We like it. 